So what I like to use for doing 3D bows, I like to use a number four brush, and this is an oval, that's what the tip looks like. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using 100% monomer, and then I'm also gonna be using white acrylic. Some people like to mix their monomer 50% acetone, 50% acrylic, I'm sorry, 50% acetone and 50% monomer. This is it helps the acrylic dry quicker so that you can work and you don't have to wait as long for the item to come up to consistency. Um, because I live in a dry, hot area, I just use 100% monomer. So you're just gonna start by working your brush and you wanna make sure that you get all the air bubbles out. Once you have that done, you're gonna go ahead and pick up your ball of acrylic and you just wanna make sure that your balls are gonna be about the same size. You just want to set that down and give it a moment to come to consistency. You know that it's come to consistency when it's not as shiny on the top as it was, when it goes a little bit matte. So what you're going to do is you're going to gather your ball and you just want to start working it into what I call a soft triangle. Once you have that shape and you push in your top a little bit, you're just going to take the tip of your brush and you're just going to press right down in the center. And then you're just going to gather your ball back up. And each time you do this, you're just trying to perfect the shape of the one side of the thing. Now, if you like, you can press in this part more, give it a little bit more of a square shape. And then when you're ready for your second ball, you're just going to pick it up, trying to make sure that it's roughly about the same size. You're going to let that come to consistency again. And again, you're looking for that to be a little bit matte. And you're going to start making your soft triangle. And then you're going to use the body of your brush again, the very tip, to push into the center there. And you can use the brush to push it in to perfect your sides and the top there. Once you have it the shape that you like, you're ready to put in the center. Now at this point you have a couple choices. You can either put more acrylic here in the center or you can use a stone. I'm going to go ahead and use acrylic just to show you guys. Dip into the monomer, pick up a small ball of acrylic, and you're just going to place that right in the center. You're going to let that come to consistency again. Once it goes a little bit matte, you're going to use the belly of your brush and you're just going to push that down make it a little bit flat if you need to you can go in and perfect the circle or scoot it over if you need to now if you want to add little tails all you're going to do is you're going to dip in you're going to grab another ball of acrylic you're going to set it down let it come to consistency. Once it goes a little bit matte, you're just going to start working it up and dragging it down, depending what shape you want to get. Get it all the way to the top and let it tuck in.
So you're just going to get another ball of acrylic once you have that side set. And if you want, you can start pulling it down a little bit before it comes to consistency completely. There's more than one way to do it. You're going to reach that to the top and start pulling down. You want to try to get that as thin as you can, kind of working quick. And you're going to push that up to the top. And then if you need to remove any excess, you can go ahead and do that with your brush. Sometimes dipping into monomer helps clean it up. And then you're just going to get the sh try to get the shape that you want. And that's it. And that's how to do a 3D bow. Like I said before, instead of having the white center, you could use an accent color or you could put a stone in there and you could also do it without having the little tails here. It's up to you. I just wanted to show you this way and you could choose to with the tails or without. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always, thank you for watching.